Congratulations, hottest event. The Met Gala is in full swing. Aussie stars Chris Hemsworth, Nicole Kidman and Naomi Watts have walked the Metropolitan Museum steps in spectacular style. Yeah, Australians killed it there. This year's theme is Garden of Time and we've already seen some extreme interpretations of that. Our celebrity stylists have been on red carpet watch all morning, haven't blinked once. Uh, <laughs> so what are the best, boldest and bravest looks of the night? Celebrity stylists Elliot Garnoy and Fleur Egan join us now. Hello, team. Hey, guys. Now, if you're fashionably late. Is this how you do it, a la Cardi B style? Oh, absolutely. If you're going to be late, make a show about it. I mean, we've seen her do some epic things before, but I think this might be the biggest gown that we've seen Cardi wearing. And to top it off, the giant turban that was, was surrounded in secrecy, all the umbrellas hiding till just about, she was just about to walk the red carpet. I mean, it's pretty mad, but God love her, she's bringing a show. It's very special, isn't it? Uh, this has been one of the most exciting Met Galas we've seen in years. Elliot, to me more, a stunned in sculpted floral gown uh, that was poking out eyes left, right and centre. She definitely wouldn't be going in for a hug with Demi Moore in this outfit, but <laughs> I absolutely love Demi. For me, I've always seen her as a, a true fashion icon, and this look is no exception. What I love from this look is she's actually wearing a very young designer called Harris Reid. Now, Harris Reid's on the way up. Harris Reid got his claim to fame from designing costumes for Harry Styles at the beginning of his to her. So it's actually really nice to see the progression of that designer from a young pop star into a Hollywood siren and icon. So I loved this from her. That's a nice insight. So singer Tyler's look is shutting down the internet. Isn't it just? For so many reasons. I mean, there's nothing wet about this look. She's famous for, for singing the song Water and she arrives in sand. I think it's incredible. Oh, I know. She's dry. She's dry. She's dry for once. It's a beautiful Balmain gown. It was sculpted to her body. The sand added the, the sand on the shoulder. And the finishing touch for me was the hourglass handbag, which I thought was just such a beautiful acknowledgement of, of time and the theme. It was stunning. Just a slightly scratchy on the skin. Oh, it's so <laughs> fantastic. But, but she's very well exfoliated. By yeah, she, absolutely. Exactly. <laughs> hey, Elliot, Kim Kardashian has divided fans and quite possibly her ribs. I wouldn't be worried about Cardi B. I'd be more worried about this Cardi Gan. Like, oh. I... Look, watch the internet blow up overnight with memes about Kim Kardashian wearing a cardigan to the Met Gala. Now, Kim is known for putting together divisive looks. People either love them or they hate them. Tonight, she's wearing Margiela Couture. Her waist has evaporated into thin air, so it's obviously part of this magical garden that they're all attending this evening. <laughs> but I don't know about this cardigan. Like, I don't want to jump on the bandwagon and rag on her, but, like, maybe she needs a pilling comb to, like, dig at those pills off or something. I think that her body is so unbelievable and this dress is so remarkable and actually quite on theme. I actually think the cardigan's distracted from the look overall and everybody's eyeline and attention is now going to go to that element. I don't yeah. know, the waist is... Last year, she used that stole when she had the Marilyn Monroe dress to hide the fact that zip didn't go up. So I'm suspecting maybe at the back there's something going on that she doesn't want us to see. Maybe. Maybe. I'll be trolling the internet later. Yes, thank yeah. you. Uh, Flo, Nicole Kidman wore a black and white number. Talk us through Oh, she looked brought. absolutely stunning. She's wearing Balenciaga. This is actually um, inspired by a 1950s flamenco design that Balenciaga did. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Just the cut of this particular dress is stunning. It's regal, it's timeless, and I love that nod to the, to the vintage era, which, era mm. which again is playing on the theme of the Met Gala. Yeah, spectacular. Hey, Elliot, Chris Hemsworth and Bad Bunny are co-chairing the event. Talk us through their looks. Look, I love the boys this year, and I'm so excited that the boys have actually elevated their fashion game more so than any other year I've seen at the Met Gala. Look, he's Chris Hemsworth. Is he completely on brief? No, he is a co-chair of the event, but when you're a sexy surfer dad from Byron Bay with the scruff and the hair and the no tie, you can get away with it. Like, I think this actually is very much the embodiment of Chris Hemsworth, the Hollywood superstar. Couldn't he have popped a little lapel flower on? A little something, or a little embroidery, he maybe. Could have worn a little a rashy rose. from Byron Bay. <laughs> yeah, and, rashy. And, every, and next to Doja Cat, it would look great. <laughs> uh, Lana yeah. Del Rey wore one uh, very extravagant gown, Fleur. Uh, you wouldn't uh, have been sitting anywhere near her. No, you wouldn't. What I love about this particular outfit is I love the idea of scale. We have didn't see that many people rocking really extreme headpieces. This is Alexander McQueen, but it's actually a remake of a two, 2006 Alexander McQueen design. I think it's beautiful. It feels really, you know, those elements of nature. It feels like a tree growing up her. But yes, you wouldn't have wanted to be standing behind her. And I think Kim Kardashian felt a little bit of that during an interview, I, I would say. She's I getting think... slightly knocked by the... Oh, but... <laughs> <laughs> Hey, now, June actress Rebecca Ferguson has wowed with her interpretation. Fleur, what's she wearing? Talk us through. Oh, I love this. You know what I love about the Met Gala? I love a reveal outfit. I always think it's really exciting. So, basically, she's wearing this beautiful Tom Brown dress. She arrives, it looks like a fabulous cape, and then, voila, it opens oh. into this 
beautiful structured dress underneath. It's got these ravens that have been embroidered inside the cape. And for me, I was excited about this because it was a different play on nature. Instead of seeing flowers, we sort of saw, you know, her taking a different a different take on it with yeah, the it was birds. Yeah, nice to see people kind of interpreting yeah. like the storybook element and different Absolutely. characters, like, yeah. you know, like the, the evil witch with the crow and the mm. different bits and pieces. So there was a lot of variation in interpretation yeah. tonight, which was really cool. There wasn't really two looks that were ever the same, yeah. which is great because... Yeah. Gave a lot of room this year for, Absolutely. for interpretation. It was so really fun. So we're excited. Fun. We're not underwhelmed. We're so excited. excited. No, I'm pumped. I think pumped. We, were saying, pumped. Yeah. we were actually saying off air that we think that it is probably one of the best met red carpets yeah. of the past decade. Oh, wow. Absolutely. Yeah, like yeah. seriously. OK, wow. so guys, golden rule, don't do your good stuff off air. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bring it. Bring that you stuff. You can watch. Look, if this hasn't been enough for you, you can watch the Met Gala 5.30 tonight on 7 Bravo and 7 Plus. So 5.30, 7 Bravo, 7 Plus for all the looks.